The following podcast is intended for mature audiences. If you enjoy our work, please like, comment, subscribe, and follow the links in the description. Thanks for your support, and enjoy. Greetings and salutations, listener. It is I, Eric J. Chucky, joined as always by my fellow Pokemon Master the Boy. Hey. And uh, this is the Two Nerds Podcast, not the Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge, um, which I'm sure we'll get back to at some point. Yep. Uh, but uh, it's Pokemon's 20th anniversary, or a couple days after Fuck Yourself. And we wanted to, uh... <laughs> it's so nice. Go go fuck yourself for being a, a nibbly-pibbly. That's what I have to say. Don't be so no, so nibbly. Um, I don't know, man. We wanted to talk about Pokemon. We thought it was timely, and it might get us some hits. <clears throat> I mean, Pokemon is a very important part of our lives, so why not talk about it on this a couple days after its 20th anniversary? Look, uh, we do poke, we do uh, podcasts on Sundays. The anniversary wasn't on Sunday. Okay? Yeah, I mean, that's it. that's how it goes, and they don't really get uploaded until Monday ish. So yeah, um, this one, uh, if, in case you're using your eyes, if you're being a viewer and not a listener, looks fancier. You'll probably also hear a couple of fancier sounds. That's right. I've been using some of this um, effort. I've heard so much about, and uh, the podcast should look a little shinier than usual. Oh. Ho, ho. But uh, let's let's get into it. Uh, 20th anniversary, you know, I've seen a lot of the ads. They they stir my cockles. Uh, I haven't been playing Pokemon for exactly 20 years because as a kid, I was super... What's the word I'm looking for? Lame. Uh, like, yeah, but specifically... Uh, you were super... You were a hipster as a child. Kinda, yeah. Like, if something was cool, I, I didn't want to be a part of it. Um, except Star Wars. Star Wars got a pass. Uh... On account of being, you know, fucking Star Wars. Well, and, and it was kind of bred into me. But, um... So I kind of waited a, a year or two before I got into Pokemon. Uh, and I have only briefly looked back. Um... <laughs> there was some time when I was going... Eh, I haven't been playing Pokemon the last couple of years, and then I started again, and here we are today. Um, and I finally, finally got you into it. Yep. Last year was it? Two uh, years ago. He managed finally to convince me to play, uh, to play a Pokemon, and I decided to like just grab a ROM of Leaf Green. I played that, and oh boy, I was, I was in trouble, listener. <laughs> uh, yeah. Then I immediately went to Pearl. On his recommendation. I I was so wrong. And didn't play Pokemon for like for like eight months. Yeah. Because Pearl is the worst. It's the worst. It has Pokemon I love in it because they were the Pokemon that that <laughs> suffered through Pearl with me. <laughs> they were your trench buddies. <laughs> but um X is a much better game. I played Pokemon X, I beat Pokemon X pretty rapidly, and then now I've just been grinding through post game stuff and soon. Soon, Pokemon, in all likelihood, Moon Moon will be mine. I've got, uh, I've got Omega Ruby, if you want to play it. Eh. Eh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, Pokemon, 20th anniversary, that's, that's special. If you haven't seen the ads, I say check them out. I'm not gonna link them, fucking Google it. There's, there's one for, uh, the 20th anniversary that was the big Super Bowl commercial, make sure you watch the full one, it's really cool. And there's one for a little announcement we heard about last Friday. The seventh generation is coming late this year, probably in December. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Pokemon Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon Moon. One can only hope that a Derp Wolf will be part of the yes the Pokemans you can get exclusive to Moon Moon. Exclusive um, to Moon Moon is just like a really dumb looking wolf <laughs> who I will name Moon Moon, <laughs> and it will be great. Um. It looks, the you know, hopefully is good. I expect it to be good because X was good. And, um... The thing that happens on the internet is grand. Pokemon S&M. That's a funny joke. Sorry, a cat attacked, so we have to... Rearrange. It attacked my chair, and I have to go to great lengths because it's a really pretty chair, and it's got, like, I don't know, faux leather. And he just loves to dig his claws into it and fuck it up. 
Yeah, fight a box, man. Ain't gonna stop you. Fight a box. Yeah, you fight that. You fight that box. Don't right? fight my chair, homie. Um, but <laughs> yeah, the memes have been fun. Like we know fucking nothing so far. We saw a bird, which kind of looks like a fletchling with a funny haircut, and that's it. This is all we know. That and the logos. And, I'm excited. Yeah, like I can't wait for the starter silhouettes. I can't wait for all the hype. I, I'm glad I've made. Four friends in the last couple of years who will actually give a shit. Well, constructed one, but the other three uh, I made who, who will actually give a shit about Pokemon hype with me and be like, oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, yeah, I'm Team Sledgy all the way <laughs> or whatever the fuck we get. I am I am pretty thrilled, yo. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Any uh, wish list features? Anything you'd like to see? Uh, basically, all <clears throat> the stuff that's in X. Yeah. Like... I like pretty much all... I mean, like a good... A, this is something they probably won't do. I would like a system for breeding that is perhaps a little less of a fucking rigor mortal. Uh, if you don't have a ditto, yeah, breeding is kind of a pain in the ass. Even if you do... It's, it's kind of a pain in the ass to breed a lot of Pokemon. You know, that would be nice. Like, I, and I, I'm sure they won't do it as well, but it would be cool if, like, instead of having to talk to fucking daycare Johnny and have him give me an egg, I can just stop by and he's like, hey, your Pokemon had, like, eight eggs while you were gone. We put them in your egg box. Thanks, daycare Johnny. That's a better use of my fucking time. Yes, exactly. That is exactly what I would prefer to have. Um... But I, I doubt that'll happen. Uh, I hope they still have the different outfits and clothes. That was really cool. I hope they have more. I, I wanted to pour more of my post game monies, my poker monies into looking fancy. Um, I know a big feature a lot of people are requesting is for the Pokemon to follow you around again. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. I've never played a game where that happened. And uh, it seems fun. Gold and uh, heart, gold, soul, silver. They do that, and they might have done it in gold, silver too. I don't remember, but um, I would like to have like my starter just hop out and fucking chill with me. Well, and it's especially funny when you end up with a fuck off huge Pokemon like like Gyarados or something like that because it's like this monstrosity following you around. Good. And you could turn around and talk to them, and they'd like emote at you. Which I mean, I don't know if they do that because that's that's more or less what you get out of Pokemon to me. I wouldn't mind seeing more features fleshed out in that. I would like to see if you have the Pokemon Me thing up, whatever Pokemon you are messing with in that, like the last one you messed with, is the one that follows you around. The, the one that's on your little screen? Yeah. yeah that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be nice. Um, I'd like it to be harder than X and Y. It doesn't necessarily need to be fucking black too white too hard, but I would like it to be harder than X and Y. X and Y was, was kind of sad. Like, there was a bit where there was a hump for me right in the very beginning, because I was, like, I didn't, I was underleveled, yeah, essentially, basically. for the first gym, but once that, once I got past that, it was all just, alright, well, I'm just gonna curb stomp you, bye-bye. I don't think I, I don't think I, like, to be fair, that first gym was one of the first times I'd ever had a Pokemon faint at all. Yeah. Um, but after that, it was just, like, s smooth fucking sailing. Um, and, like, a lot of people like to blame the EXP share, and that does make things faster. Uh. But fuck you, I like that EXP share, okay? I mean, like, I might turn it off if I was doing a Nuzlocke in X and Y, I specifically. I, I didn't not. turn it off when I did a Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, my, my Wonderlock there. And that was fine. I, I had my challenges. Um, I don't think I really lost anybody, but... I don't, no, no, I did, actually. Toward the end, I lost a lot of people. Because the fucking Elite Four was actually a challenge. Instead of being four, four X, goobers with three Pokemon each. The Elite Four and X was not... No, it wasn't. And you know what? If, if the rest of the fucking game is fucking easy moto, fine, whatever. But please make the Elite Four tough. I want to feel like I earned something. And <laughs> not like I... I don't know, I clowned a bunch of preschool kids. To be fair, though, like, it's not that the Elite Four weren't tough. They had good high-level Pokemon with good moves, good movesets. It's that the rest of the game gave you a lot of really good Pokemon for fighting them. 
Sure. In a really, really easy sort of work, and that's not always the case. But it's also, like, that that reduced set of Pokemon. Like, it's, it's, you're getting half the Elite Four experience. But, um, I don't, they have more than three Pokemon. I Maybe four. I think it's four. But still, it's not six. But, um, yeah, that is part of it. But, like, for instance, they give you Xerneas basically right before you go to the Elite Four, if you're using X. And Xerneas just fucking clown shoes over half, half the Elite Four's Pokemon. Yeah, and dragons, steel. Yeah, or he, no, steel's good against fairy. Yeah. But, like, he, he fucks up a bunch of dragons. He has a bunch of really easily easily accessible moves that fuck up everything else. Your starter fucks up, like, four more of the Elite Force Pokemon. Regardless which starter you pick, it's gonna fuck up a specific four. Yeah, it was just a really easy... It's, it's, designed, it's designed to give you all the tools you need if you play the game right. Well, and I, I get that because they were trying to, you know, bring us all to a new 3D generation of Pokemon. Mm-hmm. And ease of use is going to be a good entryway into that. I mean, like, I'll take a difficulty setting. You know, if I want to start out, like, on fucking Leaf Green Heart, where everything I fight is a Rattata with Critch the Hell out of me, I, I could have that option. And if I want to set not, out. Not a fun fucking time. I'll tell you on, that. on X and Y Easy, where every single individual NPC I talk to gives me uh, an XP share and they stack, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very interesting mechanic because it would get a point get to a point where having the poke, having the Pokemon you have out is the one getting the least experience. <laughs> oh, um, but like the crux of this, and this is something I've been wanting to do for a while, but I want to advance the graphics. Um, is it's been about a year since we last talked about Pokemon, mm-hmm. uh, give or take a few months. Uh, and we have both played a lot of Pokemon since then. Yes, we have. So our favorites. Lists have changed. Moreover, we'd like to talk about our least favorites as well. Yes, because I like bitching about things on the internet. Um, but we'll save that part for the last, kind of like how at the end of uh, DreamWorks movies, everybody hangs out and does a big dance to a popular song from five years ago. Yeah. Like, that's that's what happens. Yeah, I kind of want to, you know, that vibe. Okay. So uh, since you had to be a uh, special snowflake and have 11... Why don't you start us off? With I have your, uh... ten. I have ten. The ten spot is tied because I can't decide which one of these I like better. Because one is a type of Pokemon I like better and looks really cool. The other one is solely here because it looks metal as fuck. Um, that would be Talonflame, uh, being the one who is a type of Pokemon I like better. Not flying type, by the way. I really like bird Pokemon. <laughs> There's not that many bird Pokemon on this list, spoilers, but, like, there's a few. Uh, there's actually a lot, dude. Like, half of it. <laughs> but there could be more, is what I'm saying. There could be. You there are could easily wrong. have been, like, three <laughs> more bird Pokemon. I really like bird Pokemon. Um, the other one is Zekrom. I don't even know what the fuck Zekrom is. He's electric dragon. Cool. That's cool. Mostly he's here because fucking look at him. For real, though. Look at that fucking Pokemon. He looks so fucking metal. I can't really argue with that. Uh, Talonflame, you've played X. Do you have strong, fond memories of Talonflame? Uh, I mostly used him, like, post-game. He wasn't in my oh, actual yeah. party. Yeah, he's, he's good. He's, he's for, he's for <laughs> my sweet little egg-hatching baby. <laughs> the egg and woman. then I give him Brave Bird in case something decides to try and fuck with me while I'm wandering around. <laughs> And then he brave birds the fuck out of it and it goes away. I like Talon Flame. I have one named Fletcher. I think I I think I went through and crushed the Elite Four and the Champ with with a party once uh, for Talon Flame. I basically just do it for money at this point. Oh yeah, I mean you kind of have to, like especially if you're still buying random shit. Like um, I'm buying moves, stones, moves, uh, fucking pills, <laughs> drugs, hardcore drugs, yeah. uh, clothes, you know. Um, my number 10 slot is Whimsicott. Really? Yeah, I think he was on my list last time, or maybe the time before yeah, that. Yeah, I think he might have been. I like Whimsicott. I fucking love his design. He's a little fluff ball and a little sheep man. And I appreciate that I'm on those levels. Uh, I mean, good for you, buddy. I like grass type, and he's the kind of grass type I like that pisses you off and, like, 
puts you to sleep and gives you status effects and stands oh. around and laughs at you. I was wondering why I, I didn't like this Pokemon. Um, he probably encountered it maybe once. But uh, also, he can get Prankster for his ability. Oh! oh that's nice. Oh, that is nice. Mine has it. Uh, and, uh... Yeah, he's just a cute little grass fairy guy. All right. Um, let's so see. let's let's move on to your number nine, which which was kind of a surprise to me, but I totally see where you're coming from. It's just Entei. Entei. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bury the lead. Entei looks really cool. Look at his fucking mustache. He has a cool fucking <laughs> mustache. He's a cool fucking like. He's like the dad Pokemon. He's dad dog. <laughs> dad dog. <laughs> with like fucking laser spike backs, a crown, and a cool fucking like. Fu Manchu mustache. What is not to like he's, about him? He's thing? my dad, dog. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a big handlebar fucking Fu Manchu, and I love him. Right on. Uh, also, he looks like he's super hard because he's he's like doing that thing that hard dudes do in anime, where they train with weights on their legs because they're too hard to fight you at full strength. <laughs> uh, maybe he is. Have, have you ever encountered an ente? Perhaps he is quite the strongman. Perhaps. Perhaps. Um, I have a couple since I've played games. Boy hasn't, but, uh, he's, he's pretty tough. I like Entei. I, I totally see where you're coming from. I've just never really been a huge fan because catching him is such a pain in the ass. Um, my number nine is an old buddy of mine. And actually the only starter that still persists on my top ten. Swampert. 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 The answer to the question, do you like Mudkip? Yes, I do. Who doesn't like Mudkip? Well, I mean, like, in a generation where your choices were mediocre lizard and and weird fire chicken, like, Mudkip. <laughs> Mudkip's dough. I, I mean, like, I'm a traditional water starter guy. Like, that's up until black and white. Water starter, water starter, water starter, water starter. I've done, I've played three Pokemon games. I played and you chose Leaf the, Green, the different one each Fire. Time. Yeah. I played the Grass Starter in Pearl and then the Water Starter in X. So the next game will have a pattern emerge. Oh, yeah. We finally see a victor. Um, I I haven't actually played with this Mega because the only time I played Omega Ruby, um, I played a Wonderlock because I used to play Sapphire uh, all the fucking time in high school. So, like, I was trying to Nuzlocke it, because I know the fucking story. You know, there's no... I don't need to be like, oh, wow, what wondrous new Pokemon... No, same motherfuckers. And that was kind of the problem, is that I'd played it so much that I'd pretty much had every configuration of Pokemon in my party. I mean, like, until you get late game and you're like, nah, I got a team. But, so I mean... you decided to play a six Zubats instead? No, I did a Wonderlock. Um, That's what I get when I try and Wonder Tree. Oh, uh, well, I mean, it depends. Uh, I think... No, I, I think I just, like, I ended up with weird shit. I mean, I had a couple of duplicates, but not as many as you'd think. And I think it's because of the time between catching a Pokemon and then catching the next one. You like would a, get, yeah, you get a different batch of people releasing stuff. So it's not just like, you know, a bunch of dudes for, uh, King Nappy releasing some magic harps into the wild or some dude who's been breeding off shit. Releasing his horde of deli birds, thousands of deli birds. What an <laughs> asshole! Uh, so instead, you get a pretty decent mix, and it it it, it led me to some some interesting Pokemon. But let's uh let's roll along to your number eight. You got it. The first of the birds. Get ready for the bird time, everybody. <laughs> it is Staraptor, otherwise known as the Pokemon in my head. I call Kuabara. Um. Straptor's a good bird type. Or good bird type. He's a good uh, bird type. No, he's a good bird. He's type. a good regional bird. Um, also, he's he has moves I really like. I have a lot of fond memories of him from Pearl and from X because I eventually like got Kuabara from Pearl and I, I mm -hmm. like tagged him in when some shit when some of the people from X were not cutting it. It went down. You were like, "Come on, get close combat and fuck these motherfuckers." Up. Pretty much exactly <laughs> what happened. Yeah, that's so tight. Um, but uh. I this is one of the this is one of the generation 3 pokemon on here. There's a few. 
because he's me and him fought through some shit, all right? Kuwabara and I have seen some shit. And I have Sim on my X cartridge, and, and that Pokemon will be following me for the extent of my Poke experience. Which is one thing I, I do have to say that I love about Pokebank is I, I can, everybody's there. Fucking everybody. And that's so cool. Like, I still have Brandy's Pokemon from the couple of times she got about a quarter of the way into a game. If she ever wants them, they're just all chilling in a box for her. And there they shall stay. Um, my number eight is Gliscor, because he is a scorpion bat that is ground flying. He made it really far up my list. Because he's fucking cool. Because he's a scorpion bat. <laughs> Who's ground to fly? Dude, he's so awesome. Like, and I, I missed him when he showed up in the Generations. I want to say it was Diamond and Pearl, uh, Gen 4, but I can be wrong about that. But I, I didn't notice him. I, I'd seen his pre-evolution before, but never him. And then I was looking for a cool Pokemon in X and Y to round out a team. And I saw this motherfucker, and I was like, how do I get one of those? And uh, now I have one of those, and I can't wait to start using him and train him up. Uh, number seven for the boy. Is a Pokemon I've liked since before I played Pokemon. And I like... I gotta give you that. <laughs> uh, it's fucking... I, I love Lucario in Smash. One of my favorite characters in Smash. I really like how Lucario plays. And then the Pokemon itself ended up being super fucking cool and really useful. Um, also, they give you a free one in X, which was super nice. Yeah. Um, so I Lucario ended up in my team for a while in X, and that was great. Um, also, it has a Mega Evolution, which I kind of don't like. Because the a specific reason. I don't like it because it reminds me of, like, a specific Digimon. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't know from Digimon. Like not even Digimon I don't like. It's just I, like, hey, a Digimon, get out of here. You don't just, belong. It's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much hey, I know that Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that Digimon? It's Digi Jigglypuff viewed from above. <laughs> uh I can respect that. I'm not a fan of Lucario for a number of reasons. I I, I like his design. I like the Anubis look he's got going on, but I'm just I don't know. He's, I like his move set. I like he's he has like, a lot of really like he can be a really good special or regular attack Pokemon, which is nice. He's like Lincoln Park in two thousand and four. Uh everywhere, all over my shit. And if you like him, you're probably kind of a tryhard. Oh wait. <laughs> Because he's like the cool alternative to Pikachu. I don't like that dumb, cute electric mouse. Blech. Who likes Pikachu? Look, all right. I need Spike Hands McAnubis dog. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all right. I'm going to be real. Raichu made it way up. Raichu yeah. made it way up the list. Eventually, actually, Raichu got, I remember this, got knocked off by, um, let's see, the one two spaces above where we are now. Uh, my number five knocked Raichu off the list specifically. Because my number five... This is gonna be a little teaser for later. Doesn't just it's not just for itself, it represents like a whole class of Pokemon I love. And this one's the best one. But anyway. Right on. Uh I'm gonna tag back out. Um I think it's time to get spiritual with you, uh, listener. Ultimo Dragon. At night, when you kneel before your many championships, and you look up to the heavens and say in Japanese the language you speak. Thanks for all the championships. I ate all my vitamins and said all my prayers to you. We all know you are talking to our Lord and Savior Arceus. Forever may he reign with his many plates. Um, he's my favorite fucking legendary. He looks really cool. And he's got such a cool mechanic with his little plates you put on him that changes elements. Oh, and cool. yeah. And like, I happened to get one through a lucky trade earlier uh, last year when I was finishing out my Pokedex. And, like, I mean, he's probably hacked, but I'll get her for reals one later this year. It'll be nice. Uh, 
I can't wait to play around with them. Like, once I get all the legendaries this year, or the mythics, I am actually going to kind of trot them out and be like, all right, what do you do? What can I do with you, buddy? <laughs> so, yeah, I, I like Arceus a whole lot. Um, and I don't like people who pronounce it Arceus because they don't want to be like, oh, you're kind of saying but in, in English. Arceus. Yeah. Well, hey, no, dude, Arceus is a cool name yeah, for a Pokemon. Yes. Yeah, it's, it um, fuck you. You know what's interesting? There's another Pokemon I remember who knocked him off the list. Knocked off Raichu? Mm, uh, who knocked off uh, Arceus. Oh, and, really? Yep. My number one. Oh. <laughs> poor poor Poke Jesus never stood you know, a chance. I, I have to say, um, there was a Pokemon who got really close that wasn't one of my traditional favorites, uh, and that was Archeops. And the only reason he didn't get higher, because I fucking love that Pokemon, is because his ability intentionally sucks because he's too OP. Oh, like like uh, slacking. Yeah. It's uh if he gets below half health, like his shit gets nerfed. Because he's too OP. Yeah. That's I mean that uh, and I fucking love him. He was my buddy when I did my Nuzlocke in black. He's fucking amazing. But go on, let's go to your number 6. My number 6 is it's another bird, okay? And it's it's like the most useful fucking bird. He's cool as hell. Halucha. Ultimo Dragon, I know you approve. Yeah, um, I can feel the spirit. He's one great. Two, that design is amazing. Genius. Like he was one of the first X and Y Pokemon I saw, and like I, that's when I got excited. Like I was like, oh, oh yeah, fuck yeah, <laughs> fucking yes. That is the exact sort of crazy wackadoo bullshit I love from Pokemon. And Flying Press is like the best fucking move. Oh, it is. I had a Halucha on my uh, Y team. I pulled Halucha off my fucking team because Flying Press was too OP. <laughs> <laughs> my Halucha was kind of an HM slave, but he had Flying Press. Um, Right on. Uh, my number six uh, is another... Pokemon from beyond Shedinja. This is a really cool Pokemon. I really enjoy that he's on here. I hate how he fucking looks. Why? It's it's what it is. It's a fucking shed skin, dude. Yeah, it's creepy as shit. But like, his name is Shedinja. He should look like a fucking ninja, though. Well, he's like, he looks kind of like halfway between Ninkata and Ninjask. Um, cause, you know, the metamorphosis right, happens right. and he pops out. And, uh, so, like, you don't get quite as much of the sweet ass ninja mask that Ninjask has, but, um, you know, mostly. Well, like, just I him. love, I love this Pokemon mechanic. Oh my god, he's so cool. Like, I really want to use one a lot, frequently, and also, like, desperately, but it's just so infeasible, especially since I mostly just play Nuzlocke these days. And he's not a good idea on a competitive team. Um, but I just, he's so fucking cool. What an awesome idea. I love bug types. Um, they're probably my second favorite type of Pokemon. Uh, and I, I did use one, maybe two, uh, when I played Sapphire when I was a kid. So, when I was a teen, I suppose. Yeah, Shedding is always gonna be up there somewhere, cause he is just fucking the tits. I am gonna, I am gonna disagree. Number five, the boy. Number five is a Pokemon I've never played with because I picked the other starter in this, one of the other starters in this game. But I fucking love the way it looks and having looked around at, you know, what it does, its moves and stuff, I like those too. Um, Empoleon. I have played an Empoleon and I can tell you from experience, that bird be broke. <laughs> look at his fucking, look at his fucking like knife arms. Look at that shit. That's ridiculous. I love his giant fucking crown. All right. So, the reason he's here is not just for Empoleon. It is for Empoleon and a bunch of other Pokemon ex that I like for the exact same reason. And I felt Empoleon was the best. It's this, and I don't know the names of all these Pokemon. I don't know the names of really any of the others. It's this, and uh, Akibono, what was he? My fire pick? Yeah. Uh, he's a... Uh, oh shit, what's the... Tepig's the first one. Yeah, the final evolution of Tepig. Embor? Yeah, maybe. I want to say. Um, and then the fucking, the street tough, the street tough fucking panda who was on my list last year. Yeah, Pangoro. Yeah, it's just big, beefy, 
fucking like, like y- fucking, yakuza looking dudes like mega swampert <laughs> yes like mega swampert fucking bara swampert <laughs> <laughs> yeah bara pokemon and polion is for me the best of the bara pokemon he's, he's clearly the uh the leader of the yakuza yeah he's the, he's the fucking he's the boss uh and I just I love that kind of Pokemon design, and I wanted to have at least one on there. And Empoleon is the best of them. Yeah, I, I would have to agree with that. He's he's cool as fuck. He like he's sinister and classy. Which yeah, I appreciate. he's clearly their boss. Yeah. Um, my number five <coughs> is another Gen five Pokemon. Uh, this one being Scolipede, who is a like. Just, just, just a fucking monster. He's a gigantic fucking millipede, and he looks that's so a friendly. centipede, bro. Um, no, he's a millipede because he got the hard back. Ah, that's true. Yeah, centipedes got like the feather legs. Centipedes, also, are, centipedes, centipedes are way fucking creepier looking. They're creepier looking, but they're nicer. A millipede will fuck you up. No, you're you're switching those two. Am I? Yeah. Oh, whatever. Millipedes are cool. Scolipedes cool. Science facts. They're cool when you remember them. Mill- millipedes like are actually super nice. Sc- uh, centipedes are the ones who are dickbags. Well, then I will get a millipede, and we can be friends, and I will name him Gargan, like my scolipede. Like, think of, uh, th- remember uh, manly guys doing manly things. The millipede Oh, plan. yeah, the mill- uh, I like that millipede. Uh, but yeah, uh, scolipede was my homie in um, my first black playthrough that wasn't a Nuzlocke. Uh, he was the first poison Pokemon I had on my team. Nice. <laughs> Starting... <laughs> Starting a, a long line. Yeah, black black was when I realized that poison was my favorite type of Pokemon. All right, to my number four then. To your number four. Another yeah. Pokemon I've liked since before I played Pokemon. Really? Uh, well, no, I, I had played Leaf Green and some Pearl before. This was this uh, that this character came out in the other thing in the Grand Pearl Drought. Mm. Greninja. Greninja is fun. Um, to use in Smash. And Greninja, more importantly, is the fucking shit. I like his Pokemon. tongue scarf. One, his tongue scarf is cool. Two, he has a really good fucking move pool and a really useful passive. A really useful, his, uh, his hidden ability? Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And he's just, he's amazing. I like Greninja quite a bit. He's classy. Um, he and would he would be employed by the Empoleon yeah. to do some shit. Yeah, he's clearly he's a mercenary. but on the side. <laughs> yeah. He's a mercenary. Yeah, um, but it's his move pool is just too fucking ridiculous. It's got he's got a really nice mix of like powerful psychic and water and ground moves and dark of course and dark of course. But it's just it's a really useful move pool for that game. Again. If he hadn't been my starter, Greninja probably would have gotten kicked off for being too OP. <laughs> um, I don't typically like dark type Pokemon, uh, but Greninja is a strong counter to that because he was my starter too, uh, in in Y. So, yeah, I got a soft spot in my heart for him. Uh, my number four is a very recent addition. I have never even touched this fucking Pokemon until my Omega Ruby Wonderlock. And I received this guy about halfway through the game and went, oh, an ice type. Yeah, I could probably use that. And then he saved my fucking ass and ba- basically beat the entire Elite Four. Like, there were two other Pokemon that helped, but it was mostly fucking Cryogonal. And he didn't even have a name because he was from Korea and they didn't bother to name him. It was just the Korean Cryogonal. And, or I say him, but he's fucking genderless too, which I think is cool as shit. I like genderless Pokemon. They're yeah. always neat. Ah, oh, man, like, his design is so, like, I mean, he's just a snowflake, right? He's just, like, a really metal snowflake, but ultimately just a no, snowflake. No, he looks really happy, though. He's got little happy eyes. <laughs> um, just watching him float there all eerily and, and... No, you're giving me fucking, you're giving me flashbacks to a Pokemon we'll talk about later. <laughs> um, but he was a surprise, and I used the shit out of him. And he soared to the number four spot on my favorite Pokemon. I I will cry the name of Cryogonal under the heavens uh, because he had Deep Freeze, which is super effective against water types in addition to the usual ice stuff. 
<laughs> oh my god. Get Rex on, get deep froze. <laughs> he was so good. Um so yeah, that's that's my my fucking number four, my cryogonal. We're we're bounding into the top three. Boy, what is your number three? My number three is interesting because like I didn't expect I expected this this Pokemon to be up here. I didn't expect them to get quite this far. But I really like Luxray. Luxray is fucking is the shit. I have a uh, female Luxray who went through Pearl with me again through the trenches. Through the trenches. Um, and uh, her name was Livewire, and Livewire Livewire saved my ass a couple times. Yeah. Especially like Livewire was one of the few Pokemon's I could one of the few Pokemon I could reliably get through a couple of the Pokemon I fucking just hated fighting with. So Livewire was. And may contribute to one of the reasons I hate another one more. Um, <laughs> but Livewire was the shit. Livewire was super fun to use and had um, useful moves. And is not quite uh, as... I love my uh, my Pikachu from the Leaf Green Realm I did. Uh-huh. Uh, Bismarck. Bismarck was cool. Yeah. I like Luxray a lot better, yeah. honestly. Um, that's about it. Like, yeah. It's just, just a Pokemon I'm very fond of. I really didn't expect Luxray to make it this far, but... Well, and, and I expected that um, a Pokemon who was on my list previously, uh, Krogunk, to be a lot higher, because he's fucking fighting poison, and he's really fucking... He's a fucking assassin frog, but no, he didn't make it. Uh, my top three, if you ever heard me talk about Pokemon before, are not a surprise. <laughs> no, I'm looking at them, and I... There's... Yeah, you're going, yep, yeah, those guys, I know. <laughs> same, same for me, really. Um... Number three for me is Esper. Uh, I eventually evolved mine into the female Meowstic, and oh my god, she was the first Pokemon I've ever gotten to level 100. And she was a fucking dream, because she had Psybeam, she had some other psychic move, I want to say it was like a physical one, like Psycho Cut or something, maybe she didn't know that. Maybe it was just a backup psychic move for when Psybeam ran out of PP. Um, but she also had Signal Beam, and uh, uh, some electric power that was also a beam. <laughs> Charge beam, that was it. So it was just lasers, lasers, lasers. Lasers, lasers, lasers. And like all of them gave her more special attack or weakened the opponent's special defense. <laughs> she was just a fucking tight little ball and she's got this fucking, like, I love Esper so much more because I like the little fluffy fur. I like the, the fucking dead-eyed thousand-yard stare. Um, But female Meowstic has this look on her face like my cat often has, which is, like, the Aubrey Plaza look. The, I could not give a fuck about anything that I am visually capable of perceiving. Fuck everything with my fucking lasers. When I did fight the Elite Four in, uh... In, so it's a spaz with laser vision? Yeah, when I fought the Elite Four in Y, um, you know, they, they weren't too tough, but, like, I had some bad type matchups, and then there was Fluff Modius. Then there was my Meowstic, and she just melted. Melted faces. Melted? Melted. That's good. Uh, my, On to your number two. My number two. Pokemon, which I also really do. Uh, my number two is here because my number two it was was the first of the trench fighting bros. <laughs> He was. I love how you talk about Pearl like it was a fucking Nuzlocke. <laughs> Pearl was the worst, okay? <laughs> it was. I'm so sorry. I feel like a bad friend for telling you to play it. Um, the first of my trench fighting, of my trench fighting c- comrades, me, me and fucking Turtwig, I had, we had each other's back. Torterra is the shit. Um, also, I had the, like, there were times when I was, like, all my other Pokemon were like, no, were, had like either fainted or were like two hit points away. And I just would t- bring out Torterra during like some different boss, like some different uh, gym leaders in Pearl and just stuff milk down his throat and have him do withdraw until his defense was four billion. <laughs> and, and just, nope. Nope, you're going to run out Which of is, I mean, it's kind of funny because if you look at the rest of the Pokemon you've been talking about, maybe with the exception of Entei. But uh, you favor light, hard-hitting Pokemon. 
Um, especially exemplified in the fact that you've got, you know, you've got some fire types, you've got some, uh, fighting types, you've got some, um, modifying types, actually. Electric types. Uh, but Torterra is this unique fucking grass ground motherfucker. And we had a conversation just before you started playing Pearl or not too long into it, where I was talking about how in like Gen 3 and Gen 2, I would play a lot of really fucking, hey, even Gen 1, a lot of beefy fucking Pokemon who just sat there and took your shit and watched you die. And you were like, I don't know. I like my hard hitting fast guys, my, my glass cannons. And I was like, eh, eh, it's different these days. It's a different game. There you playing Pearl fell in love with the Torterra, the, the fucking epitome of nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. I'm just gonna throw a leech seed at you and, and then drink my milks. Drink my milks until you're out of HP. <laughs> oh, I fucking love it. Throw whatever you want. You got you got super effective moves. I got mo I got moo milk. Whatever. You gonna you going you gonna run out of power points before I run out of hit points, fucker. You know, that's like she actually the core concept of the competitive version of my number two Pokemon. Really? Yes. My Garbodor. Uh, who is my second favorite Pokemon. Um, sometimes I think he should be the first, but then I look at my first and I'm like, No, it's you. Nah, it's you. Uh, I don't, like, Garbodor is one of those preview Pokemon for Gen 5. The people were already like, fuck this game. They've run out of ideas. This is bullshit. And I just saw Trubbish and Garbodor and went, Oh my god. I need these Pokemon in my life. He's a baby trash bag. And then he, he explodes. He's the shittiest day taking out the trash, and I love him. This is like, it's such a keen slice of life moment embodied in a Pokemon whose, whose default pose is, <laughs> uh, but my Garbodor has Belch. Recycle. I and now you know it's fucking Garbodor. Go fuck yourself. Garbodor is way better. Garbodor is much cooler in this fucking household. It's Garbodor. Yeah, we say Garbodor. It's like Luchador, but with garbage. Yeah, I uh, know you approve of that. Ultimo uh, yeah, Ultimo. Um, it's a uh, fucking Belch. Recycle. Toxic. And he's got like a backup, like Smog or something. Um. So. And I've got it with a, a berry that heals a lot of health. I don't remember which one it is off the top of my head, but it's one that heals the most health. So, even like a huge high power psychic move that he takes, and he's just like, oh, I better eat my berry. And then I'm like, oh, I better hit recycle. I found another berry. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I throw him out there, I drop toxic on somebody, and then it's like, well, I'll, I'll kill him, so we'll at least both die, or maybe I can swap out or something. He's just like, oh, I keep firing these berries. <laughs> <laughs> Breath is good. <laughs> oh, you're out of PP. Well, I better. Oh, I got some gas. Excuse me. <laughs> and Belch is a fucking powerful move. Because it's one of those. Any move you have to like do a thing to unlock is uh -huh. usually really super fucking hardcore. Yeah, I, I fucking love Garbodor. I, I'll play any permutation of Garbodor. Garbodor was the second poison Pokemon in my Black Run. Uh, I ran into a third who I don't remember who it was at the top of my head, and that was when I realized I had a problem. <laughs> I was trying to find space on my team, and I was like, alright, I guess I can get rid of my Psychic. I don't really like this Gothitelle as much as I thought I was going to. Maybe I'll get rid of Superior. I don't, do I need three Poison Pokemon? And like, the front of my brain was like, no, dude, you need type advantage. And the back of my brain was, yes! <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> on to your number one. Which is, should not be a surprise to any motherfucker who's heard me talk about Pokemon before. Uh, or, or anyone who's ever seen a Pokemon top ten list before. I love that as somebody who so long railed against Pokemon, you have literally the most common number one Pokemon ever. As That's in, because Charizard is the <laughs> best Pokemon. Dude, look at him! All right, Look yeah. at this mother! He's a fucking dragon. This is what Pokemon is about. Fucking first game, they just be like, "Hey, guess what, friend? Here's your fucking dragon. Go out into the world with your free dragon." <laughs> oh, you could also, I guess, have a shrub or I don't know, a turtle. Fuck yeah, or, shrub. Or you could get a dragon, and we'll just give you this, and then you'll raise it, and it'll be a giant. 
fucking dragon. Look, I know the Pokedex says he's six feet tall. Bullshit, he's a giant fucking hardcore dragon. It's real to me, damn it. <laughs> yeah. It's still real to me. <laughs> God damn right. Look, I'm ten in Pokemon. He's big yeah, enough to true. ride. That's fair. Um, um, and he's, I, I, I like to think, I would rather, I'd like to ask, does that have anything to do with the uh, Pokemon Origins anime we watched that I showed you? Uh, yeah, probably, probably a good yeah. bit, probably, because that was before I started playing Pokemon, I think mm-hmm. it was one of the things that actually, eventually convinced yeah, me. Yeah, you were like, what? Pokemon's can be cool. <laughs> it also has to do with what little I saw of the Pokemon anime, because I thought, uh, Ash Ketchum was a humongous tool, <laughs> and so did his Charizard, <laughs> so we were one on this. Um, <laughs> but, um... But then I saw that, and that fucking, that Pokemon Origins anime, the, that fucking, that was a cool thing, and then I played the game, and Oroving was unstoppable, man. Yeah. He just fucking destroyed things. Having played more Pokemon now, there are fire types who I, if I was actually trying to really be competitive, I would use before I used Charizard. There are ones with better move pools, with better, like, but, like, for real though? Any team I'm on, any team that I have, that I have control over who's in it, Charizard is going to be my fire type in it. Um, I... Which is sad, because that means I'll probably never use another fire starter, unless I can't get access to Charizard for whatever reason. Well, usually... I'm sorry, the cat in Spaz has just started talking... Hello. ...now, and not during the Meowstic portion. I'm, I'm good. Did you need me to pet you? Okay, I'll pet you. This is the weirdest interlude uh, to the Two Nerds podcast. No. No, when those cars were doing shit outside, that was the weirdest interlude. Look, the cat doesn't often just walk up to me and be like, pet me, motherfucker, and then like hop up on my leg. Okay? She's very, like, standoffish. So yeah, I, now she's going about her business. You, um, you, take the, you take the pets when you can get them, alright? Don't judge me. Uh... I wish that my, my very first starter, Blastoise, was still up there. Like, part of me even wants Danigan, my, uh, my rekindling starter when I played Leaf Green as a Nuzlocke. Um, part, part of me wishes he was up there because, you know, there's that connection that I see so many people online, be they Poketubers or just people on Tumblr who were like, yeah, this guy was my first and he's the best. You know, I, I kinda, I remember those Pokemon from back then, but like, I'm looking at my fucking list here and, there's not a single Gen 1 Pokemon on there. <laughs> nope. Whereas mine has, let's see here. Uh, just the one. Just the one. Yeah. It used to be more. It used to be more. You've played more Pokemon since then. Um, but my number one favorite Pokemon is uh, another Gen 5 darling, of which there are many. Uh, and that's Audino. Um, I remember when I first encountered him in the shaky grass. And he popped out and waved at me, and I was like, well, you and I are friends now forever. Um, he was the first shiny I bred off, uh, really the first legit shiny I got. And, uh, yeah, Audino. Um, I like him because he is made of beef. My first Audino had, uh, I forget the name of the move, but it's when your Pokemon dies and you switch into that guy and you use the move, it fucks him up. Because this wasn't a Nuzlocke, so I could afford to use that. Um, and, uh, he had a bunch of other just beefy ass moves. Right now, the Audino I have, my shiny one, um, whose name is Dweomer. The first one was Orsiren. Um, he's, uh, he's got. Nice! Yeah. He's got, uh, fucking Substitute, Simple Beam. I want to say, like, Lucky Chant or something like that. And then, Last Resort. Yeah, he's made, he's made to fuck some shit up. Um, I love Audino. Uh, I don't know. You'd have to try really hard to replace him in my heart. I and mean, first of all, of, you'd have to get past Garbodor. <laughs> I mean, speaking of Garbodor, uh, I, I meant to say this. If, uh, since you are a true Pokemon master who has all of the Pokemons. Yes. Um, I might need one of those. What, a Garbodor? A, a Trebish. Trub- yeah, sure, what the fuck? Because I will name it Kylo Ren. <laughs> and it will be my you best friend. Trash, baby. Yes, <laughs> my sweet, sweet trash, baby. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Uh, man, you need something I'll breed it off for you. I don't give a shit. I got like four Japanese dittos sitting around. Like, I give a fuck. Like, it might be shiny. I'd be like, here you fucking go. You got some colorful trash bag. 
<laughs> God, no, I'm trying to read a shitty cryogonal right now. Um, and it's not, it's not going well. Not as bad as fucking Deli Bird. Not as bad as Deli Bird. Man, I bred off my Audino and I had, I had maybe like 400, four or 500, maybe Audino that I bred off. Uh, Deli Bird, I, I bred, uh, probably at least 2000. <laughs> just deadly birds. Like, it was just like, we're red, we're red, we're red. <laughs> Fuck you, we're the perp one, though. <laughs> now you got your perp. Now I got my perp deli bird. He's got a decent move set. Let me go give you presents. His name is Klaus. I like it. Yeah, he's, he's cool. I like perp bird. I like perp bird, too. All right, let's get into, uh, with the, with the tenish minutes we have left. Let's get into shitty Pokemon. Shitty yeah. fucking Pokemon that we don't like. None. I mean, like, fucking none of these Pokemon. They're in no particular order. I think we're both going to save the worst for last, though. Yeah. Ooh, I got to pick the worst. I think you know the worst. I think you yeah. know the worst. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, let's start with, um, on me, the, the Pokemons I am net fond of. The Elemental Monkeys. Uh, the Panseer, Panflom, Plum, Plum. I fucking hate them. They look stupid. Their evolutions look stupid. Why are they there? I will say there is one exception to that, and he belongs in your Yakuza gang, and that's Simisage. Because he has that giant fucking needle hair. <laughs> the super <laughs> pompadour. And he's got like, he's giving you a thumbs up and shit. He's like, yo! <laughs> he's the, he's the poop shoot of the, of, of the Yakuza gang. <laughs> now I want to make a Yakuza team. Go for it, dude. Making teams is fun. Um, but. Get a fucking, uh, What's that one bird that evolves? Honchcrow. Get a Honchcrow in there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're, uh, it's just that their design is really, like, you didn't have anything better, guys. Like, and here's what I hate, is there's so much put into this. Okay? Now, you haven't played Gen 5. Um, so what happens is, you get your starter, okay? And the first gym in Black and White is... Depending on what your starter was. You will either get a fire gym if you picked a grass starter, a water gym if you oh, picked a fire that's starter. Rough, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean it's kind of simple, but there's like a little offshoot path that you have to go down, and on that path you'll be able to get one of the elemental monkeys, who is the opposite. So if you so the game wants you to go down the side path to get the monkey, so the monkey beats the right. First gym. It's a really clever way to show don't tell and teach you how type advantage works and how you need a diverse team. Because even though your starter is really good and you love them, you're gonna need some people to help your starter because there are motherfuckers what will kick their ass. Um, the problem. Well, and, and let me actually give them another boon here. I love the speak no evil, see no evil, hear no evil theme. Because, and you can kind of see it here. He's he's like, hey, I can't quite hear. That guy's eyes are closed. And that guy's mouth is doing something weird. I don't quite understand. He's got, yeah, he says, uh, look, um, I don't care. They look really stupid. They do. They look fucking stupid. One has a duty hair. And like one has a doo doo hair, they're one has down and two has chef hats. Except one's a fucking broccoli. One is a broccoli. Why is one a bro? Look, you're gonna hear me bitch a lot about Pokemon that are food in the next little while. Um, I I just like the, the, you you are forced to have one, and usually finding another really good fire type or a really good water type, you know, is kind of fun to have one handed to you and it be. This guy. Like, their starting moves aren't even very good. They fucking start with Lick. Ugh, yeah. Fuck the Elemental Monkeys. Indeed. <sighs> Alright. Um, from from my pool. Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get this right out. Fucking you known. Yeah, it's on both our lists. Fuck you known. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, known is, you known is the worst. Look, literally. I wouldn't care if it had moves. If it had moves, I would probably collect them all like I did with Vivian. Because God, I mean, damn, you Vivian, crazy bastard. I am a crazy bastard. Uh, Vivian is like it's kind of okay with pool. It's it's pretty good for a bug fly. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's nothing crazy. But I like it, and it's got that one exclusive move that's pretty neat. Yeah, um, which is super good, by the way. Oh yeah, uh, but you know, is just a gimmick. That's it, and it's a fucking 
27 Pokemon gimmick. I think there might be a couple more. I think they might use punctuation, but like, and it's and they have bad stats and bad oh, move pools. And one and move. They learn secret power. That's it, or hidden power. That's fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Like it's not even like I like Deli Bird, but you can teach him shit. All right, you can give him a good move pool. Look, you can't even teach you know shit. That's Magic Carp ends up with a better move pool than you know. That move on. Let's go. Let's go back to one of the ones you were looking at here. Uh in in the theme of bitching about stuff that's food, the Vanillux line, all of them, I uh, did the whole crew of fucking ice creams. I like them. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, it's ice creams. I like I like <laughs> that Vanillux himself has the little the little uh. I can't, the fucking French word chocolate stick in his head. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking ice cream. Look, dude, I like Mr. Tasty Freeze from Pete and Pete as much as the next guy. <laughs> but it doesn't need to be a Pokemance. Yeah. And the next one on the list is, is fucking, is worse. Is the worst of the, this is just an X things. But yours. We'll, we'll, we'll get, let's, let's go, uh. I kind of want to bitch about Ponyard and Bisharp. Um, I I just really fucking hate their design. They're really sharp. They're really bland. They're made of they're, knives. They're taking a chess theme, which I love chess themes, but like neither of them really look like they're chess pieces. No, just their names. Just their names, and, and they're they're, they're, they're dark of- steel. So like you you're not you don't have a lot going for you coming in talking to me into my home. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Fuck him. That's it. I hate him. Moving on. Okay. Uh, this is this is the I chose this one because this is the absolute apotheosis. This is the worst of the. That's just an X. Fucking Klefki. Really? Now Klefki. It's keys. Klefki does have a good move pool. It's keys. Very strong Pokemon. It's fucking keys. I also have not used one. I, I did. I entertained the thought for a while because I like to. It is like a to house try key and a skeleton key and a big brass locker key and a fucking car key. It's keys. Yeah, it's keys. It sure is. That is not a Pokemon. That is keys. Well, like this is the Pokemon. I'm gesturing the main body. These are keys. It's a key ring Pokemon. He collects keys. I will fuck you up, I swear. <laughs> <coughs> I don't I don't have a hate on for Klefki, so I whatever. But I I get it. <laughs> Please, so many fucking people on the internet get it. Um yeah, let's see what we got here. Let's see what I can fucking hate at. Uh Jump Luff. Hopip is a cool little tomato man. Skiploom is a bigger, greener tomato man. Jumpluff is a perp fluffy. <laughs> that evolution comes out of left field. Yeah, like I would have, I would have liked maybe giant tomato man with like extra tomato plants coming off him, like coughing style. Uh, I, I would have liked, I don't know. Fucking spaghetti sauce would have made more sense than this shit. <laughs> spaghetti sauce. Just, just a, a jar of spaghetti sauce with like a <laughs> smile on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, was this to keep, teach kids about the food industry? I fucking guess. I don't know. All the things you love get turned into snacks. Which, I, like, and and this line would have been fine if it went like if the jump luff had been the first one. Obviously, that would have had to have been called hop it, but no one gives a fuck. You know, for the for the hop skip jump thing to go, but like, because he looks, he's a little budding, you know, whatever. He's got those fluffy things, and he's a tiny purple thing. Then the next one is a medium sized red thing, and then the third one is I, a giant fuck off green thing. I just looked through and like, right? That's you revert. That's that's clearly the first evolution. I know, and I love, I love Hopip and Skiploom. They're both really cool. I love them from a design standpoint, and I would love to train one, except that's what it turns into. Well, you can always give it one of those stones so it doesn't evolve. Once oh, it man, I probably skip could. Loading. I probably could. Um, it's, it's what I would do with many other Pokemon on this list, but, uh, let's get back to you. Let's, uh, what do we, what do we uh, hate we're today? Gonna do, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do fancy, you know. 
Oh. <laughs> Sigilif is, is like 12 Unones who got together and then dipped themselves in paint. It looks so stupid. Oh, I'm sorry. It's 11 Unones who got together and dipped themselves in paint and their friend, the secret Voltor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I like Sigilith, but I can't argue with that. Uh, it's just a really <laughs> stupid looking design. To each their own. At least he's got a decent move pool. I, okay, sure. Um, I actually have a lot more to bitch about. Uh, let me grab. Let's do two. Do two of you. Do two. Okay. Do duo. I don't have a problem with Dodrio. Dodrio gets little chevrons on its heads. Looks all right. Do duo. It's just fucking dumb. Look, I, I want to fly on a duo. I want a you want the helicopter heads. Yes, yeah. helicopter heads. Helicopter heads. Uh, I just want it to look like something more than meatballs. <laughs> it's three meatballs. It's a meatball with bird. A meatball bird. <laughs> like it's just one of the fucking least inspiring designs for a Pokemon. And least inspired. Yeah, just. What if we did? What if we just had a fucking emu? But with like another head. Yeah, what if we had an emu cross with that one Muppet? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, uh, let's see, uh, Drapion. I don't have much to say about this, because he's really not that bad, but... He looks like an accordion. <laughs> he's, well, Scorpy's cool, because he's a cool little Scorpion Pokemon. He's purple, you can name him Skarner, have a nice day. Drapion shows up, suddenly two extra tail arms coming out of his head. Also, he has a big neck now. <laughs> well, yeah, like, this, like... You went from Scorpion to, like, that guy who redraws pictures of monsters kids drew. <laughs> <laughs> like, I literally, literally caught a Scorpion when I'm using this motherfucker. Are you kidding me? I love him. Great. This is fantastic. Leveled him up, turned him into Drapion, and went into the box with you. <laughs> Fucking Nightmare Man. <laughs> Disappointing Nightmare Man. Like, the kind of spooky nightmare you have that's like, I'm gonna get you. And you're like, no, get out of here. This ain't real. Look, I'm awake now. You can't stop me. Oh. What else? What else do you hate? You hate this guy? You hate this guy? Yeah, scroll up. Is that all I got? That's all you got, my man. Cat. Um, a stab cat. Yo, fuck stab cat. <laughs> uh, no. Um, let's go with uh, the last one I... No, you know what? Every other one of these Pokemon is not just aesthetics. The rest of them have been aesthetics. These are all Pokemon that... Not only do I dislike their aesthetics, which is true for all of them, by the way, but also, I don't like them as Pokemon. They make me angry for one reason or another. We'll go with the least of the offenders, Diglett. And this is because of Diglett Cave. Oh, yeah. Especially in Nuzlocke. Accidentally stepping into Diglett Cave is writing your own fucking death sentence. Fuck Diglett Cave. Not now, see... I don't mind um, Doug Trio. Doug Trio has earned being a shitlord. <laughs> because Doug Trio is ganging up on me. So of course they're going to be unfair and dickish. What is this little poop doing being such... is a poop. Why is this poop such a, such a problem for me to defeat with all my scary monsters and flying machines? Like, fuck you, Diglett. Fuck your cave. I hate you. Moving on. <coughs> um... Here's one that makes me super mad. I might have to do two again. I have yeah, so many two. Pokemon I hate. Uh, goddamn Sunflora. It's just a sunflower. Why do you hate uh, a sunflower? It, it doesn't look like a Pokemon. I'm not this guy. Fucking 700 and some times out of 700 and that plus one. Uh, what? It's just fucking... This is like a 1940s cartoon. Why has he got toes? <laughs> That makes me real mad. <laughs> oh my god, I can see it like a dancing. I hate it. Like I hate dancing it so along, fucking like, much. I like, like Sunkern. He's cool. He's a little corn with a little fucking grass propeller. He's got black stripes. He looks real neat. Fucking Sunflora, I gave you a Sunstone. And now you have become disappointing and you bother me visually. Uh, do you think about the moon and the June and spring? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Um... Uh, in, in grander. Do you know what, do you know why it doesn't look like a Pokemon? It's not the body. It's not the toes. It's the face. Ah, it's a pokemon face. But like, the whole thing. I, I think it, honestly, it reminds me of the titty flower from Conker's Bad Fur Day. 
<laughs> like it's it's already got an uphill battle, and then it doesn't try. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go with Ambipom. That's, I'm just, a, that's no, just an ugly Pokemon. Just fucking let's let's watch that in your nightmares for a while with the nipple dick hands <laughs> coming out of its butt. <laughs> with the nipple dick butt hands. Yeah, uh, how'd you like those slapping against your face? <laughs> no, not slapping. Gently caressing. <laughs> Gently. <laughs> I like. I fucking like Cradley, the many dicks Pokemon, and I, I probably got that backwards. It's probably the other evolution, but fuck. Fuck this guy. <laughs> he disturbs you, I take it? I don't like him. I don't he's like got, him. He's got a, a tails with udders on he's the got, end. He's got a fucking Mo Howard haircut with with two fucking... What's that little rascal's guy? <laughs> alfalfa. Yeah, alfalfa. Two alfalfa hairs. <laughs> and he's a goddamn monkey, and I'm not that fond of monkeys in the first place. And he's got udders on the end of his tail. Fucking utter nipple dick hands. <laughs> and then where his regular hands should go... Stabs, Powerpuff Girl hands. I don't know the fuck. <laughs> God damn, and the palm. <laughs> Ken Sugimori, you put down them shrooms. Oh, now on to the second worst offender for Pokemon that I just straight up don't like and always piss me off, Mister Mime. Mister Mime, you moves. As a Pokemon that I would use are useless. Your moves as a Pokemon that I have to fight are annoying. And you look really fucking stupid. What is that fucking hair? Why is your hair bat wings? Is it hair? It's. I mean, it's clearly like Bozo the here's, Clown. Here's my favorite thing somebody once pointed out. That's a Pokemon... Is it wearing shoes or are those its feet? <laughs> if it's wearing uh, shoes, where did it get shoes? <laughs> it's got gloves, except for where those are probably just its hands. No, those are its fucking touchy touch hands. <laughs> it's fucking, it's fucking <laughs> bad touch claws. <laughs> like, where did the Mr. Rhyme touch you show me on the doll? Yeah. Look fucking... at that fucking creepy asshole. I hate him so much. Fucking Hypno is is a fucking, like, actual child molester Pokemon, and Mr. Mime looks way cre- goddamn creepier. And I'm not the, you know, creepy clown, no. I, and, you know, I'm also You live not, with me, you couldn't be. <laughs> I'm also not, like... I'm also not a guy who hates mimes. Except this one. I hate this motherfucker. I'm not fond of his design. It's a mess. It's, it's a mess. It is, like, why is he... He's not... Mm. He's at the same time over-designed and under-designed. Like, you have a couple of concepts that really could have played out here, but you ignored those in favor of slapping the bases of other concepts on top of it. Also, like, it's a tiny, tiny little quibble, but I don't like a lot of Pokemon who just look like guys. That's a, a common problem people have. That's the, the just a fucking... Pokemon. That's, that's a fucking dude. That's a dude. That's just a small man who snuck into a Pokeball to hang out with a ten-year-old kid. <laughs> that's Harold. That's fucking Harold. He just cut off his nose and made weird hair. Oh, fuck. Um, do I have to do two more again? I think I do. Yes. This will be my last pair, though. Uh, let's talk about Poopomon. Poopomon. Let's talk about the fucking legendary who is a shit. <laughs> oh, I've got like a nutty, like. With, with fucking nuts in it. <laughs> like He's a, a poop. Nutty, a nutty poop. He's a doo-doo-on. Goddamn Doodumon! Skullface Doodumon! <laughs> He's talking about Heatron, for those of you keeping score at home. Jesus shit. Literally. <laughs> just, like, he looks like a poop. That's a poop! That is a poopumon! Like, I like I don't fucking I, at one point on my least favorites list I had uh Heatmore. Because he's got weird tubes and lines and it bothers me. But, you know what? Ultimately, his design, consistent. It's good. I see what you're going for. He looks kind of like a boiler room and an anteater had a baby. Cool. I don't know what you're doing with Heatran. He looks like Dr. Wily's castle after Mega Man has been there. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit, son. Literally! (laughs) And then, 
Then we come to this goddamn motherfucker. <laughs> these two goddamn these nine motherfuckers. <laughs> I cannot say anything about these Pokemon that has not been said before. Execute an executor. But I'll say it anyway. Eggs. That's eggs. That's eggs. A broken egg is one of them. That's, that's, three, four, five, six, that's six eggs. One is dead. But six eggs. They are psychic type. These eggs. Psychic eggs. But no, they're seeds. Okay. Because there are other egg Pokemon. Togepi is an egg. Sure, Togepi has egg theme. Uh, fucking Chansey. And the Chansey line, egg theme. But those are the bother Are those the eggs that Chansey keeps? Like, is Chansey just... But no, because these are seeds. No, those are eggs. But the Pokedex says they're seeds. Bullshit! Those are eggs. One of them is broken and there's that's, a yolk inside. That, yeah, that's the thing. There's yolk in that one. If they are seeds, why is there yolk? <laughs> Fucking... But you know what? Fuck it. Alright. Eggs? Who already suffer from the cling clang and, you know, magneton problem of just being a bunch of things stuck together... Without having an original, just a egg. The evolution of eggs is derby palm tree monster. <laughs> <laughs> this raises a lot of questions. Oh, this podcast is just me laughing. <laughs> Question one <laughs> How did my eggs become? <laughs> why is that one high? <laughs> why is why are they? Is that One Punch Man? <laughs> <laughs> like one of them is giving you like a weird sort of pleased look. Yeah, that's that's One Punch Man. I'm almost positive. <laughs> and then the other one is is literally just stone. Yeah, dude. like he's ripped off some of his own leaf hair and has 420 blazed it. He got why he got monster feet. <laughs> why is he like, fat? Okay, yeah, why is he fat? Who did he eat? The other eggs? No, clearly not one of them, because at least one of them lived. I guess. I guess. This is a fucking... This is the, the like, longer the we look at this, the, the deeper oh, the hole oh, gets. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> but, and then you, you need to bear in mind this whole time, psychic type. No! Why? <laughs> I mean, I guess because it's going to induce horror in your life. I fucking guess. Uh, if the rest of Pokemon had been designed with the design aesthetics of Execute and Executor, Pokemon as a franchise never would have gone fucking anywhere. Because those things look really, really stupid and illogical. So let's talk about your number one here. Okay. Look, this is the worst Pokemon. <laughs> there's not there's not a debate. There's not my opinion. This is no. the worst this is the worst I Pokemon. I have a counterpoint to that, but I'll I'll wait till you finish. Not in terms of move pool, not in terms of effectiveness. Because it's really good at those. <laughs> it's really, <coughs> really annoyingly good at those. This Pokemon, and it's the thing it evolved from single-handedly increased my playthrough the time I was stuck in Pokemon Pearl. Because I'm not that guy. Because if, if I didn't beat Pearl, I was never going to beat Pearl. If I started X, I was never going to beat Pearl. So I had X. I had Pokemon X sitting on my fucking, like, on my table in front of me. And this fucking Pokemon stood athwart my fucking path and single-handedly increased the time of my playthrough by at least, like, a couple of weeks. In the various version, the various times I, like, ran into one of these things, he almost wiped my entire fucking party, I had to go back and heal and come back out and there was another one. I hate Bronzor and I hate Bronzong more than any Pokemon on the planet. Its design is dumb looking. One's just a disc. The other one is a big bell. 
I'm okay with the big bell, but Fuck the disc. You. The disc is weird. And they're so annoyingly effective, which wouldn't be a problem if they weren't also hard to catch, which wouldn't be a problem if there weren't a billion of them. In, like, every bush in Pearl, there are six bronze eyes. I hate this fucking Pokemon so much. It has actually become the lightning rod for all of my hatred of all the many things wrong with Pearl. Because it embodies them so much. It is a incredibly common, incredibly beefy, full of a bunch of resistances, only has a couple different ways to deal with it regularly effectively, let alone super effectively, wild Pokemon that is fucking everywhere past a certain point in the game. That's a good reason to hate that Pokemon. I see you and I raise you. I raise you. Bellsprout. Bellsprout's easy to kill. You ain't gotta deal with Bellsprout for very often. You ain't gotta see that shit every day. You ain't gotta see that shit every third patch of grass. Bellsprout. Bellsprout is... is the joke gift. (laughs) You know how, like, sometimes you watch videos on the internet of kids who, like, were really looking forward to the newest iPhone? (laughs) Or the one that was really popular after Star Wars came out when... Like, the dad's like, hey, son, I got you new Toyota! And they go out into the driveway, and there is an action figure of Yoda in the driveway, and the dad goes, la, 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 la. This, this is that for Oddish. Sure would like a good Pokemon. Oh, hey, buddy. I tell you what. I'm a kind of snake in your bed now with my dick sucking lips. <laughs> it's, universe, I need a plant Pokemon. I need a plant Pokemon who can do, you know, things and moves, and I'd like for him to have leaves, if possible, and, like, a big round part. Uh, that'd be great. And you're like, come on, come on, give me that Oddish. And and then the Scratch universe the, the universe didn't, didn't hear that last no. part. Mm-hmm. The universe didn't hear that last part. It, it heard the rest of it. Oh, have I got just the thing for you, friend? Here you go. One bell sprout. Universe. Get out! <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> gold and silver, they've got fucking bell sprout tower, where you fight nothing but an endless barrage of bell sprout. Wait, really? Yes. <laughs> Fuck, alright, at least there was never a bronze on tower. I <laughs> can't. <laughs> Oh, God, I hate you so much, Bell. Look, okay, full disclosure, I've used an Execute before. Not a bad Pokemon. Many of these Pokemon that I dislike, I, I would you know. like... I'd, except you known, because it's fucking worthless. Uh, I would use. Like, in a Nuzlocke, if I caught him, and I needed a Pokemon, sure, that's fine. Heatran, okay, come on, poo let's do this. Fucking... You know who gets boxed every goddamn time? Even though I don't dislike his final evolution. I think, I think Victory Bell looks fine. You just can't get him I there? I just, like, you fuck it, and he's so weak. He's so shitty. He's, like, got a hit point, And it's, like, ah, oh, so, 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 hey, so much. Bell's bro. That's that's it. That was a podcast. We ran over about 20 minutes. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It was a little special. Hey! Alright, it's 20th anniversary. You get 20 extra minutes on the podcast. We get 20- Look at that. We did that on purpose. We are good at our jobs. Yeah! Please don't look at the actual timer because we haven't hit 20 minutes yet and I'm not planning on stalling. I don't know, man. Between the opening little you know, uh, radio we- voice and the ending thing. We maybe might be, maybe uh, we did. Alright, go for us. Well... Um, I'm not gonna stall anymore. Everything's better when nerds talk about it. Fuck it, let's get hardcore!